Hello everybody, welcome to your channel Echo Engineering. This is your host Shia Lelipur. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple strategy based on RSI and I'm going to show you how a simple strategy uh, as simple as RSI can be profitable by using optimization in uh, MetaTrader 5. Um, and uh, actually this topic has two videos. The first video which you can you are watching it right now is about a strategy we want to backtest it we want to improve it by using optimization both complete optimization and optimization based on a genetic algorithm and then in the second video which i leave you the link for it uh, up here and in the description i show you how i program it and i leave you the code in my mql5 account uh, please remember the whole focus of this channel is on the algorithmic uh, trading and programming, whether it is by Python or MQ5 and C++. Um, I highly suggest you, if you are not familiar with uh, programming MQ5 or Python, uh, to check our channel and see the related video, because otherwise I don't think that anyone can be profitable without being able to backtest and code the strategy. Uh, if this is your first time watching our channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button. So whenever we upload a new video, you will receive a notification. And I hope you find this video uh, useful and stay with me to the end. So uh, this is a very simple strategy. It is completely based on RSI. Uh, I just briefly explained RSI. In RSI, we have... Uh, an indicator between two level which is the upper level usually it is 70 and lower level usually it is 30 and uh, the RSI indicator just fluctuate like that and when it, it is here actually it is in the overbought area and when it crosses the 30 uh, 30 person limit it is in uh, oversold area so but well, how does the strategy work when we cross the rsi here when we cross rsi uh, to the overbought area we actually buy and we when we cross uh, to the oversold area we actually sell normally we were told that when we are in an overbought area we don't want to buy and we want to sell and when we are in an oversold area we don't want to sell and we want to buy but i believe that whenever we are in the over so overbought area there is a reason that the, we are in this area maybe some um uh, some uh, some news uh, has released and it impact the, uh, the the market and it caused the pair to uh, start a momentum and uh, go to the trend 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 market so i try to find out this start of the trends and uh, the period of this RSI is 40. Okay, it is 40. When we open an order, when we open order, we do it by 1% of our balance, balance, and because the risk to reward is equal to 2 and the stop loss is uh, 100 point below take profit would be 200 but some questions will arise here why 70 why 30 why the upper the upper li limit is 70 the lower limit is 30 why take profit why uh risk to reward is two don't you think with risk to reward three for example it will be better or maybe with risk to reward one it would be better and why we are using rsi 14 and in which time frame and again for which pair is it for your EST? is it for uh usd jpy this is this strategy with these values valid for all pairs no actually it's not is it valid for all time frames no again it's not it's not where it's a, a prescription for all pairs and all time frames this is what we are going to find out today we want to find out which combinations for this rsi period 
these limits and this risk reward and along with the time frame which combinations of this value a perf has, would have the best performance for a specific pair here this is your UST I want to see the combination which has the best performance so uh, I in the my MetaTrader I go to uh, in from tools go to MetaCode language editor I just want to show you the code but remember uh, I will explain the whole code in the next video uh, the code is here let's just close RSA strategy, very simple one. This is the code, and I compile it. So it's compiled. So uh, first of all, we should from uh, view open strategy tester. Uh, it was already open, but from view, click on strategy tester. It will be opened. When click on the single, you are actually practicing this strategy for one combinations of the inputs. But if you go to optimize, complete optimization or genetic optimization, I will explain it uh, later. Uh, actually, let's just explain now. When we are using complete optimization, we back, we check all the combinations of the all of the inputs that we want to. But when we are using genetic optimization, it doesn't go for all the combinations, but whenever one of the combinations, for example, perform better than the others. It try, it tries to search for the other combinations around this value. I highly recommend you to search for a genetic optimization along with some optimizations algorithm like, um, for example, adaptive control optimization uh, or uh, cocoa optimization algorithm or jungle optimization algorithm, or we have even uh have for example fuzzy logic control all of them are optimizations algorithms where which they are trying to search around the target values for the other values but i don't want to mix this topic with our topics we go for complete optimization click on it here we choose our uh, expert advisor here i want to test rsa strategy I double click on it symbol which symbol we want to use remember the result of this video is for the symbol that we are choosing here it doesn't mean that it will work for example for UST JPY or any other uh, pair so I try for to test it for your UST the date I want it to be for the for the previous mm, three months for example from now from this date to today and the initial value is 100,000 I want to do optimization see here the optimization is slow complete algorithm and I want to do optimization for my balance max I want to maximize my balance I can choose to maximize my sharp ratio but here I'm gonna do it for my balance now we go to the input section in the input section I can choose which uh, input I want to consider into my uh, calculation. I want to consider RSI upper limit, RSI lower limit, RSI period, but not, not risk to reward. I just change risk to reward. Now it is two, I change it to four. And uh, now a risk to reward, uh, I don't active it. I just give it a, a, a constant value. And for the time frame, I want to give it start step and stop uh, all of them for okay for RSA upper limit I want to check it for 65 to 75 and the steps I like it to be three it means 65 then three more check it for 68 and then three more check it for 71 and so on and uh, this one uh, for the lower limit I want it to be 35 to 25 and the steps I want it to be minus 3 30 the fir first it check it for 35 then 32 then uh, 29 
and this one the RSA period I want it to be uh, 2 and wait 2 until 14 or I can even uh, change it to 3 so it will go faster and the steps will decrease uh, the time frame I want it to be from 5 minute but weekly it's a lot it is 16 steps I want to decrease the whole combinations and I change it to uh, one hour for example but as a practice I suggest you to continue if you have a you have time and your PC is very and CPU is powerful enough I suggest you to check it from one to weekly and increase even the uh, the RSA period for example to 21 maybe you find better combinations better solutions so now we have 640 different combinations if I press start it start to backtest all of these 400 uh, 640 combinations uh, I can even for example increase maybe to 2 but then the combination will change I press start and uh, it starts to do the calculations. Okay, each of these dots are one backtest. For example, this one uh, gained 13.9%, uh, and this dot gained around just $2, but this one, for example, lost money, and it's 62000 It lasts about uh, $38,000. So we just leave it alone, leave it like that to see the results. And when it's finished, I'll be back to you. Okay, uh, now the backtest of all 640 combination is over and all of them have been tested. And this is the results. Uh, if I just sort the result, I can see that here, the maximum profit that I can gain is 42.8%. And when does it happen? It happened with this combination, the upper limit 68, the lower limit 32, RSI period 8, and all of them should be applied to 30 minute time frame. Okay, let's just test it. Let's just test it. 30 minutes, RSI 8, 32, and 68. We go back to overview, single. We want to test it for this one. I active the visualization mode. And in the input part, I just transfer these values. 68, 32, 68, 32, RSA period 8, to reward 4, uh, and time frame I want it to be 30 minutes. If I change it to 30 minutes, I can start back to see. Uh, remember that because we clicked on single and not complete optimization here in the input only the value section is active and start step stop columns are deactive and we cannot change them so with these values and with these combinations uh, we should gain 42.8 percent profit I started I hope it works and we can see the results so started the visualization mode is active and now we have it it's working like that so I just increase the speed the speed is maximized and we wait until the end of the back test so the back test is over now we can check the result I close this part here in the graph, we can see this is how it was working. This is the performance. And if in the back test, we can see that the net, the total net profit is 42.8%, 42,800. We were in profit. And this is all the result. But it's very important that here, as we can see in the optimization section, the drawdown is a lot. And we may not use this one because when the drawdown increases actually the sharp ratio decrease and we uh, and uh, uh, it means that uh, we we are deviating from standard deviation but by a lot 
So we don't want them. We don't want it. We don't want a strategy that deviates from standard deviation profit a lot. And I would go for this one, actually, if I want to test it. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do not forget to hit the like button if you liked it. So YouTube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in these topics. And uh, it helps us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Goodbye.